1958 standard pennant 950cc petrol manual this one in the red and beige good little uh, character this car it's got a certain charm about it that's for sure body work wise we'll start off the bonnet work our way around the car and go into the interior and then we'll go for an engine start up right up the front of the bonnet there, lovely and straight up the front. Once a little bit of a polish in places, there's a little bit faded here and there. Nice and straight down the left hand side with the odd little bits and pieces in the paint, some sort of scratches in the paintwork there. But like I say, a little bit faded in places, so a good polish would square most of that away, I would think. No nastiness down the front there, a few little drips in the paint. Like I see it's see it sort of faded in here there. There's a few little bits in the paint on the left hand wing. A little bit hazy as you come down to that lovely clear headlight nice and straight around the around the bowl there a little bit of had a little bit of a repair there at some point but it is from the 50 so you kind of expect that to be sort of part and parcel of it chrome work on the front bumper is lovely and clear it's very very light pitting into it but it's nice and straight up onto that big grill again a little bit of flake to the chrome there but overall, very nice and presentable. Down on the lower half, have a good look at that there. With your single drive lamp. Up underneath the driver's headlight, and again, a little bit of a mark there under the headlight, but no big rusty holes or nasty corrosion there. Nice and straight around the top lip here. It's all nice and crisp. As you come onto the edge of the driver's wing, you'll see Get a little bit flat in places here on the corner. The paint's a little bit hazy there. And a little bit of a crack of the paint there. This is the driver's side. We'll go across the top of the wing there. There's a few bits and pieces in the paint on the wing. You can see. You can see that there. It's brought that up. You can have a look there. As we go up onto the, the roof now. A little bit of flat in this channel here. And again, we've got some slight scratching in the paintwork and a sort of haze to it. The camera's picking that up clearly well. See that there, but no dings or dents, all nice and straight. As we come back down onto the driver's front wing, around the arch itself is nice and tidy. The chrome works good. That separates the, the two sort of two colours away from each other. Come down the back of the wing, got a few little, ble little blebs at the back there on the driver's wing. We'll go across the lower half few little bits just peeping through there on the bottom of the driver's door door itself facing straight up at the top half again a little bit of flattened places and the odd mark in the paintwork here and there a few little cracks in the paint there a little bit of pit into the handle but no major marks around it cross the top onto the past their driver's rear door sorry again a little bit of pitting there but nothing too untoward across that lovely straight chrome trim on the back door there and we'll go slowly around the arch and have a good look at that. A little bit at the bottom there on the driver's rear arch. As we head back over, nice and straight. A few little stone chips down there. Lovely and straight down the bottom of that rear quarter and rear arch. Nice and tidy across the top again. A little bit of flat in places. A little bit hazy in places. You can see the camera is picking up sort of the different flatnesses of the paint. As we come down the back end there, a little bit going on on the swage line there. But very, very presentable overall. A little bit flat down the back end and some pitting, heavier pitting to the rear chrome bezels. But the light lenses are all nice and clear across there. As we come around the back end, the bumper itself, again, nice and shiny. Some very, very light pitting in that. A few marks lower down on the back of the boot compartment. There, a few little cracks in the paint on the lower section. As you come up the boot lid, once again, lovely and straight few little bits in the paintwork on the boot itself but a good polish would sort of i think i'm sort of get rid of them but it'll hide some of them that's for sure as you come round onto the left hand rear arch got a little bit of a dent there on the rear quarter there the lower section around the fuel cap a little bit flat again and it wants a new rubber around the fuel cap there as we come round the arch we'll go nice and slow once again around that arch on the left hand side Lovely lines to it, this one. Up onto the top half of the door and quarter. Again, a little bit flat here. And nothing too underward there on that seam. 
across the passenger rear door top, nice and straight onto the passenger front door. Again, flattened places and the odd mark here and there in the paintwork itself. Have a good look at that two-tone section across the lower half of the sill onto that passenger front wing. Nice and slow around the arch. Let's have a good look at that. Up the wing itself, onto the top half. A few little marks again in the paint, like I say. It is flat in places, but overall, nice and presentable with a little bit of a charm to it, this thing. Into the interior now. The interior itself, nice and tidy on the door card. A little bit grubby, but nothing... No rips or tears or nasty marks on that there at all. The seat itself, we've got a few little splits in the seat itself. On the bottom swab and on the back swab there. A few little marks here and there. They haven't been recovered recently, that's for sure. So it's sort of the right, the right sort of wear for the year. And the mileage, you've got a few sort of mats being put in here as well on the floor. Across the top of the dashboard, the leather trim across the dash. It's a little bit faded, but it's sort of... Suits to the rest of the car. Across the dash there, down the centre console. Dials are all nice and clear and easy to read on both sides there. As we go in, have a good look at the headline in there. It's a little bit grubby, but again, no rips or tears in the headline itself. The steering wheel's all nice. There's a few bits of paint flake to the steering column. Into the passenger air driver's rear. Again, the door card is all all right. A little bit of flaking around the, I think that's the ashtray there, is it? A little bit of flaking around that. The door guard itself, no rips or tears. Rear seats are all nice and tidy, nice and soft as well. The odd little mark, but nothing to sort of worry about. Doesn't, it's not been over restored in there. It's not a brand new leather. It sort of suits the rest, almost patina to the car. Into the boot now, lift these two hinges. Works perfectly. We've got a few bits of red paint there in a can. The rubber mat's nice and tidy in the boot. You've got a painted spare wheel underneath that shelf, all nice and tidy in there. Still with the original art line covers on the back there. Shuts nice and easy as well. You're not having to force it closed. You just sort of turn them and it pops into place. Passenger rear door card again, nice and tidy. No rips or tears out of that. Nice and usable, this one, a very, very usable little saloon car into the passenger front again door cards nice and tidy a little bit of grubby in the two tone but once again no rips or tears the seat itself isn't in bad condition at all a little bit of a nick down the bottom corner there but the actual swab itself lovely and straight we'll have a good look at the dashboard from the left hand side and another little look around that headlining into the engine bay now, a single carburetor, 950cc, all nice and presentable in, in there. The engine on this one starts on the butt, it's been here a few days with us. James has got to fire it up now. I don't know if you can hear that, but that is definitely running there. So machine, that. Lovely and smooth on the tip over. No one wanted noises. There you have it. The standard pendant in red and beige, 950cc petrol engine in that one. Lovely and smooth on the mechanic side of things there. That engine is lovely and quiet.